All right, now that we're familiar with some of the surface commands, I'm gonna go ahead and teach everybody how to make some simple solids from our surfaces and our lines. So again, we're gonna begin in the top view. I'm gonna create a nice little rectangle here, maybe a little bit shorter. Okay, and we're just gonna make this into a surface. So I'm gonna type in the planar surface command. And I know this will work because it's closed and it's planar. So I'm just gonna drag that all the way over here. Now there's two commands that we're gonna go over, which is a planar, sorry, extrude curve and extrude surface here to make a solid. So uh, we can type in extrude CRV for curve here, because that's what it is, a curve. And we can basically type in a distance. So let's, if we keep it 200, it'll make a nice solid for us at 200. Now, if your curve is not solid, then maybe you have the solid option checked off. So if we uncheck the solid option, you can see that it literally just makes a hollow shell. It'll extrude literally the lines and just make the walls. Now I'm gonna do that one more time. If we, uh, we're gonna check on solids, but if we do direction, what we can do is actually designate a direction. So if I want it to go diagonally uh, one of the ways like this, then that's exactly what's gonna do. It's gonna go diagonal if I were to designate a direction. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna make a nice, simple volume like this. And if we check on both sides, so type B here, it'll extrude on both sides of the line that we have. Uh, fairly simple, but uh, usually I just keep this on solid. Uh, don't usually have this on both sides. And uh, there we go, we have a 200 unit tall solid from the line that we just made. Now, same thing's gonna happen with our uh, surface here. So all we're gonna type is extrude SRF for surface and it's basically gonna pull up the same little command bar. Now, everything here is basically the same. Uh, we're just gonna do 200, and these two are basically gonna be the exact same solid, but you do notice that there are more ISO curves than uh, in the surface one than there is with the curve one. Now, that is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. It really is uh, up to what, we, what you're doing. Now, I'm gonna undo this and delete that one. And just go over a little shortcut for both of these commands so we don't have to type it every time. Uh, so on the gumball tool, if we have gumball enabled, uh, we have this little circle that we did not go over yet. We went over everything else except the circle. And this is basically a new feature in Rhino 6 where we can extrude things with just a uh, circle. So if we do the 200 here, it'll extrude the line up by 200. Now notice that uh, the, the actual solid or not solid, but like poly surface here, is not closed because the gumball tool will literally extrude whatever you give it. So if it's a curve, it'll literally extrude just the curve. If it's a surface, it will extrude the entire surface like that. So just make sure that uh, you guys know what you're doing when uh, using this little gumball tool because it'll literally just extrude what you give it. And yeah, that's how we make some simple solids from curves and surfaces.